Well, everyone, the time has come. The new camera's finally here. Well, everyone, as I just said, the camera's finally here. I finally picked up a new camera. Uh, as everybody knows, I've been using the Nikon D5300. I want to step up my game. I want to go up to 4K. So, thanks to Jonathan Edwards from Contention Media, once again helping me out, I have a Sony A6500, which shoots in amazing 4K. Um, I've never owned a Sony camera. I've always heard hit and misses about them, but eh, a lot of people use them. A lot of people I know use them. So they love it. Alright. We have a professional cleaning kit. We have nice, a skin guard. I was actually gonna order one of these, but uh happily it already came with one. We have the 18 to 105 glass. I like this case that it came in too. This is actually really nice. I was gonna order another backpack for it, uh, possibly a Manfrotto one, but uh this is nice, I like this one. A little more compact than a backpack. backpack. Uh, we got the normal instructions. Now, I did buy this used, so this isn't probably exactly how it came with the packaging, but the guy I bought it off of does professional photography and uh, he takes very good care of his stuff. As you can tell, it even still has the bubble wrap. <clears throat> now there is a G on the side of this, but it is not a G Master lens. Um, it does have the power zoom. It is a E-mount setup. It's not the kit lens as far as I know, but wow, that is beautiful. That is a very nice lens. 72 millimeter, very nice. I'll put that over there. Stick this box down here with my collection of other boxes I have for camera gear. And the final part. The actual body of itself. Let's check this out. Very excited. <laughs> I was actually upstairs, outside waiting for the uh, post guy to get here with this camera. Uh, a lot of instructions. I will be reading all of those so I can figure out how to use this properly. And let's see. We got the. We have a micro USB charging dongle. We have one battery. We have two batteries, which is good because I keep hearing that the battery life on these things are horrible. But uh eh, you put up with it. You sacrifice something for good quality. We have the next strap. And finally every part everybody's been waiting for the actual body itself. Wow. This is probably about half the size of the uh, the Nikon that I, I currently use. Um, this was one of the main reasons why I went with this compared to the 6500 or the 6000. Is that little part right there. Let's see if you guys can see it. Let's focus on that a little bit. Oop. Right there, that audio jack. Big thing, so I can use it with my road mics. Because uh, I do like my audio. Um, now let's match this up for the first time. I will take that guy off first. And here's the e Alright, yeah, there you are. Oh, and there she is. Here we are, guys. We are now ready to shoot in 4K. That is such a nice camera. I cannot wait to take this out to uh, get some shots with it. It's beautiful. This is the only thing I don't like about it that I do like about my Nikon. Oops, sorry about that, guys. Except my alarm to actually be awake for when the post office guy comes, but he came early. Um, this is the only thing I don't like about the Sony's. I do like my uh, foldable screen. I can see it right now, so when I'm talking to you guys, I know that everything's in focus and everything is in uh, in frame. That's what I meant to say. But uh, yeah, I have to deal with it. 
Like I said, I make sacrifices for good quality. But uh, yeah. That locks in place, that's great, I like that. But uh, this is all for you guys, man. The money I spend on my equipment, I do it for you. So you make good videos. Um, now that I have a Sony, uh, Sony uh, camera, make a lot better content, a lot better videos, um, a lot clearer videos. Now, uh, yeah, that's it. There. One thing I want to talk about. One thing I want to talk about, with you guys, is uh, some stuff that's coming up. Um, I am working with a filmmaker crew out of Scranton, Pennsylvania. Um, we are currently going to be working on a couple of uh, a couple short films. Um, one of them is actually going to be a. Uh, I'm not currently on it working on it, but I hope to be part of it. Um, a children's show that they're going to pitch to PBS. Um, I've seen some trailers for it, and it looks amazing. Some other videos. Um, everything's going to be done local. Everything within the Scranton area. Um, another thing that we're that we're working on is a uh, a pretty cool short film uh, zombie movie. Um, I have a location for it. We're gonna we're gonna meet up with the uh, the other team members and uh, show them what it looks like. It's a pretty cool area. It's an old sanitarium. It's abandoned, um, but it'll look pretty cool for zombies. But uh, yeah, just want to end this video pretty quickly. Um, like I said, this camera purchase for you guys. Um, and uh, hope you guys enjoy the content. It's gonna choose in 4K. I don't edit in 4K just yet, but I'm gonna be down. I'm gonna be downgrading it from 4K to 1080, which will actually end up making it clearer than the 1080p that I currently use now. So uh, hope you guys like it. See you guys later.